Mario Draghi has submitted his resignation to the Italian president, Sergio Mattarella, again. It comes after he attended a debate and delivered a speech in the lower house of parliament. Ma, grazie per questo e grazie per tutto il lavoro fatto insieme in questo periodo. Ma, Thank you for this and thanks for all the work we have done together during this time. In the light of the vote taken by the Senate last night, I ask to suspend this parliamentary session because I am on my way to the President of the Republic to inform him of my intentions. Thank you. The Prime Minister lost the vote of confidence in the Senate on Wednesday after three political parties, Forza Italia, the Anti-Immigrant League and the Five Star Movement, opted to sit out the vote. They say it's impossible to recover trust in the coalition. Draghi's National Unity Administration fell into crisis when the Five Star Movement boycotted a confidence vote last week. This despite the Prime Minister warning that the move would prove fatal to the coalition. President Mattarella is expected to call early elections now in September or October. In that scenario, Draghi would stay on as head of the government until a new leader is elected. Experts predict the government collapse will harm efforts to tackle inflation, will delay the budget and will threaten EU post-pandemic recovery funds. And for more on this story, we are being joined by Andrea Muratore, who is a geopolitical analyst from Milan. Andrea, what happens next? Good afternoon to everyone and thank you for the invitation. Uh, the main issue now is to know what will political parties do after uh, Draghi's resignation. Because uh, Draghi's cabinet has been... Uh, uh, proved able to work on the base of uh, an emergency-linked mandate, but uh, as it was uh, plausible to assume uh, even before the Ukraine war, uh, as soon as uh, as long as the uh, elections continue to maintain uh, a secondary importance in the political uh, uh, debate. Uh, no party has decided to defect from uh, the coalition. But on the other end, the drug is uh, uh, leading, has been strongly affected by the lack of support that he faced when uh, uh, he tried to uh, run for the presidency of the Republic in last uh, January. So the idea is that in Italy uh, we were facing a condition in which the cabinet uh, was uh, strongly harmed uh, after the vote for the President of the Republic. And now the main issue is to know how, who will face, <clears throat> how and who will face uh, the energy crisis, inflation, with uh, uh, the support of a strong mandate. That, that's the key issue. Because Italy was facing a great storm, uh, both in economics and uh, in uh, society, uh, without having a strong ruling coalition, because the fact is that uh, political parties and Draghi himself uh, were strongly debating uh, on uh, how to manage these huge problems. And if we assume that there are going to be early elections now, who is that good news for? Which political parties? I think uh, the strongest uh, party uh, in this election could be uh, Fratelli d'Italia, Brothers of Italy. That uh, uh, on the actual parliament, Fratelli d'Italia, led by Giorgia Meloni, uh, is the third largest party in the centre-right coalition. But having proved a strong and very coherent opposition, both to Giuseppe Conte and Mario Draghi, this party, which uh, is uh, a conservative party linked to, uh, for example, the Poland and Hungary le leading parties uh, or uh, conservatives across Europe, has uh, uh, become uh, the main uh, point of reference for opposition, but it has also constructed a way uh, in order to manage uh, the coalition with the League and Forza Italia uh, in a stronger way. 
Uh, Giorgia Meloni has proved to behave as a, a very strong opposition leader, and it's developed, its party, its uh, party, is developing a government agenda based on tax cuts, based on border controls, based on Estonian uh, alliance with the Western uh, countries. But on the other side, even the center left could find a new way. Uh, to reinvent itself, because the Democratic Party has broke up uh, the alliance with the Five Star Movement in yesterday's vote, and it's trying to build up uh, what has been called as an open field coalition with uh, centrist, liberal, progressives, because uh, uh, the strongest problem for center-left was, was its lack of uh, credible alliances to, in order to face uh, the incumbent uh, election uh, that are based on a coalition scheme. And so the idea is that uh, the Democratic Party, who has been uh, Matteo Renzi's party and Ricoletta's party, could become the pivot party of a draggy coalition. The idea is that uh, uh, after yesterday, Italy will face a condition in which we will uh, manage a political dynamic in which uh, Parties will uh, divide on uh, with Draghi or not Draghi again, uh, Clevage, with uh, the Five Star Movement that has been the most vote party okay, in 2018 gonna... elections. Hmm? Excuse me? We're, we're going to leave it there. Thank you, Andrea Muratori, for your insight. Thank you so much.